Welcome back to another video and we'll be fitting a new south boost gauge. Let's do it. So now it's time to remove the glove box. So remove the side panel and undo all of the little torques that are holding it all in. And then unplug any connectors that are connected to the glove box. So now we just lift up the strip. There's the bung that we'll be feeding our vac hose through. So I pushed that through, pulled it out from that end, put a little hole in it to put the vac line through. Fed the vac line back through. Like so. Pulled it out the other end. There it is in the engine bay. So now let's just remove the strut brace because that is in the way. Because we want to run that vac line down the electrical box. You'll see. So we unclip that. Get the vac line going down there. Feeding it through it just to make sure it doesn't get crushed anywhere as well. Job done. So this is a fuel pressure regulator. A lot of people do tee off this, but I'm not going to tee off that. I've teed off here. They both come from the inlet manifold. And I've chose that one for the pure reason that if I get a, boot, a vac leak, I don't want it to be affecting the fuel pressure regulator. I'd rather just had a boost leak. But as you can see, it's gone all the way back there, back to that black box and back through. So now let's put the strut brace back in place. Tidy thing up, cable tie if you down. Put the engine cover back on, job done. So now back inside the car, put that grommet back in. There is our vac line. Which vent are we going to go for? Let's go for that one. So now I popped off and the little ring came off straight away. I need that to come off anyway, but it came off a little bit earlier than I thought it would. So with the vent out, it's time to start trying to find that vac line as I'm trying to feed it up with the left hand and pull it out with the right hand. I found it. Pulled it through. Job done. So I'm going to connect it to the back of the gauge and test it before I go any further. So with the gauge working and we do have the vacuum working how it should do, it's time to put the glove box back in place. So just in reverse order of how you took it out, all the screws back in, obviously make sure you plug everything back in first. Now let's start on the lower dash, because this is where we're going to get our power from. So remove the side cover, like that, and all these other torques. Right, let's get those all undone. Now gently pull it away. Just double check you got all the screws out and then undo any electrical connectors that are attached to the lower dash. And don't forget the AB2 port. So that is where we're going to be getting our power from and that's where we're getting our air from. So I put the gauge in the mount with the cables through. So make sure you've got the cables through the centre of the mount before you go any further. Otherwise, you're going to be having to undo it all again. So now feed the electrical cables through, pull them through. Put some electrical connectors on the end. I did put a fused line on the live. So I thought it was best just to have a fuse in there. 
just in case, you never know. Now let's get this connected up. There you go. There's my power for ignition. And there's our earth. Right, let's see if it actually lights up. Every day, it's right, let's get this all buttoned up. Now let's finish off with the gauge with a bit of glue on the little aluminium bezel and glue that down onto the mount. Sorted, well that's the gauge in, so we just need to tidy up all this wiring, put this all underneath and go for a test drive. Right, let's go for a test drive and see how much boost we're running. So far so good, it all seems to be working. So that is the boost gauge all installed. But there is a couple of things I don't like. The needle doesn't sit on zero and that bothers me. It seems to be one pier sight out on the minus way. So I don't really like that. But I think what would have been nice, nice touch if they actually did do it for a proper TT is if they had the silver bit in the middle of the needle, that would have been pretty cool. But I know that's a one PSI out. I might take it up with New South and see what they say. Maybe they'll send me another one. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.